I'm perfect. Let me frame the shot. Okay. We're hearing some noise on that mic. It's probably this. Yeah. Oh, yes, you've got it upside down. Oh. What's wrong with you, boy? Uh, you did? Late did. night? Oh, yeah. Now Papers back. and stuff. Now back back up. Gotcha. You know what? Drop that one. All the way through. And bring it, your shirt back. Remind me to tell you something. Okay, perfect. Oh, suit coat. I got you. See, let it love. Yeah. Light on the dark of your suit coat. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Set it nice and straight. Okay. I like that view. Perfect, yeah. All right. We'll start in 15 seconds. All right. Now. I have new, I got to get a haircut. I look like a chicken. I look like a chicken. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm Michael Jordan. Thanks for joining us for WVUA 23 News. The Northport City Council voted unanimously Monday night to accept the proposal to buy the Northport City Civic Center and City Hall and Fire Station one for $3.5 million. Council President Jay Logan says the city will now enter into a six-month due diligence period with the successful bidder Beaker Property Group. According to Logan, citizens can think of this as the city accepting the sale proposal while both sides iron out the details. Northport has the option of pulling out of the deal at any time. The Beaker Group plans to merge several properties to possibly attract a national retailer. A federal judge on Monday blocked an execution scheduled for an Alabama death row inmate convicted of killing a police officer two decades ago. 40-year-old Tory McNabb was scheduled to die Thursday night, along with several other death row inmates are challenging the methods of lethal injection that Alabama uses. McNabb was convicted of killing Montgomery police officer Anderson Gordon in 1997. Smoke is descending into the coastal beach town of Santa Cruz, California, from a fire that broke out late Monday. Four structures were destroyed today, and five firefighters were injured. Dozens of people have been evacuated from about 150 homes in the area. Smoke is visible almost 20 miles away at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Officials say that it may be necessary to evacuate students from that campus. The cooler fall temperatures we've enjoyed lately will gradually warm as we head into the weekend. By Saturday, high temperatures are expected to go back into the low 80s. The cooler air is following a cold front that moved through Alabama Sunday night and Monday morning. Nighttime low temperatures will be mostly in the 50s. And as you know by now, this Saturday is the third Saturday of October, and that means it's Tennessee week for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Alabama and the Tennessee Volunteers will face off Saturday afternoon at 2.30, and the game can be seen on CBS TV. That's the news for now. I'm Michael Jordan. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.